on. Let's see. I've checked with Toya and we're fine to have a look around the rovers at lunchtime. Great. I can't actually believe this. I'm going to actually have my own pub. It proves dreams do come true. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a chance of getting to Carnegie Hall yet. Oh, no, you can. You've just had your breakfast. Not bad. Oh, a strong coffee, please, Roy, and two tap waters. I actually better make that three me eggs banging. So it was a good party, was it then? Oh, I don't know. I left early. I was in a bit of a mad because Ty was meant to come and meet me there, but turns out he had some pretty awful news. Oh? His mum died. Yes, thank you, Hope. Uh, Jackie? It was very sad because she was our gran, even though we never met her. And she wasn't very nice to Dad, like the stepmother in Cinderella. Well, re regardless of that, I I I'm very sorry to hear it. Jackie was a... a complete flipping nightmare. But she was his mum, wasn't she? Oh, well, of course, yeah. I think he's quite cut up about it, Roy. He didn't say very much last night. Actually, we've um, patched things up a fair bit. <laughs> well, that, that that is good news. Mm. But now he's in a state because of this. Well, he, he presumably now needs you more than ever. Yeah. Oh! Hello. Here. Yeah. She's just leaving. She had some old training manuals she was lending us. Yeah, I'm not using them anymore, so... Oh, OK. All ready to move out on Friday? Oh, yeah, about that. Um, I was just wondering if I could have another couple of weeks. She's been well busy. She's got a wedding hair trial today. You are not allowed to trade in the flat, right? I'm not doing. I'm going around to theirs. Oh, right. Well, another fortnight, and then I mean it this time. I want you out. She's always grouchy in the mornings. Yeah. Anyway, just, um... Drop them into the charity shop when you're done with them. Oh, thanks, lads. Bye. See ya. Don't you think you're being a bit? No, I do not think I'm being a bit. She stabbed me in the back, remember? I know, I know. I just like you both. Plus, my head in when people are like, argue. It's like Katie and Peter all over again. Oh. oh. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, don't worry, darling. I'm not a customer. I'm looking for, um... Claudia. Hello, Aud. Oh, sorry about all this. My mum's mate Pauline's been left to all funeral arrangements. She's stressing out. Wants to know if I've got any old photos of her. That's OK. How are you feeling? Fine. Cos it'd be all right if you weren't, you know. She was your mum. Barely. You know what I mean. You know what they said? That she was ill for a year. She knew she was going to die, like, six months ago. I mean, if she couldn't even be bothered to pick up the phone and call me, then... Yeah, but... people do funny things when they're ill, don't they? She might have thought she was protecting you. <laughs> protecting me? Does that sound like my mum? Maybe she changed. After 60 odd years of being horrible. You know what? I'm just going to tell her that I haven't got any. Yeah. She didn't give a stuff about me, did she? Well, she was alive not for one second, so why should I give a stuff about her? in my bag. Must have fallen in. I thought I'd left it home. Poor thing. I would have thought that you'd have gone. I wanted to, but 
It's like you said. I, I didn't know if I'd have hurt anyone. Like Bethany? Maybe. What? It's just funny, isn't it? How you care so much about her, but she couldn't care less about you. That's not true. Is it not? You're always there for her. But then, as soon as you're struggling, she's off getting trolleyed and God knows what else with a boyfriend in Ibiza. It's OK now, because I'm here for you. You said that you were going to get something. Something that would explain the truth. Yeah. I have. Look, the truth is, Bethany's been lying to you. I'm sorry, Craig, but she's been using you. So how's he doing? Up and down. Sally's with him now. I'm going this afternoon. Are you talking about Jack? Yeah. Um, do you mind if I come and see him today? Does it now? We start at 12 o'clock. Ty, have you seen Abby? Social worker's been on the house phone and she's coming over. Uh, well, she was working on that a minute ago. <laughs> when I say working. <laughs> Hey, that's part. It got a bit leery, didn't it? You're telling me she's a flipping liability. Excuse me. Um, I'm looking for Abby Franklin. Oh, sorry, I've not seen her. Have you, Ty? Me? No. <coughs> oh, I do not. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> there she is. Oh, hi, Claire. Hiya. Meant to be meeting ahead of your unsupervised visit. God, that was today, wasn't it? Two sex. Did you sleep in there last night? No, no, I've been home. I, I just thought I'd have a rest. I was mortal last night. On booze, not drugs, just lots of booze. Not that that's anything to be proud of. No. Oh, no. Can I have 20 minutes, Ty? Go on. Sure you two are gonna be okay coping without me? Oh, yeah. Wait till tomorrow we'll have to try and find this flat in Liverpool. Tomorrow? Yeah, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. What, so you've not found anywhere yet? Nothing that doesn't cost a fortune, no. Are you sure about tomorrow? Honestly, it's no problem. You just concentrate on little Jack. Cheers, mate. I'm sorry that I had to be the one to tell you this. I just think that Bethany saw what a top bloke you were and she took advantage. What do you mean? I mean that you were so brilliant when she was going through that stuff with those guys and she knew how loyal you were and that you would do anything to help her. Which you would, wouldn't you? You said that you would. You said that you'd keep all of her secrets and that you'd lie for her, wouldn't you? Yeah, I, I, I guess. I bet you'd even lie under oath and support anything that she said, wouldn't you? What? No. I'm not saying that I blame you. I understand you're a lovely, Lovely bloke. I just don't trust her. Look, Bethany, she's not a liar, OK? Are you sure about that? Are you sure that everything that she's said is true? Even after she's lied to you so many times before about working Look, as a stripper... Look, see, I about... don't... What? What, Craig? Look at what just talking about it does to you. It's not talking about it. It's just I'm stressed out and it just triggers. Why? Why does Bethany trigger it for you? You said yourself that the first time that it was really, really bad, you were trapped in your kitchen and you were going to see her. Why was that? I don't know. Is it because it got too much for you? The guilt of knowing that she was lying about it all? What? Look, I'm not saying that Nathan wasn't a nasty piece of work, but the other guys, the parties being passed around, that was all in her head. She read somewhere that stuff like that happens in the papers, and so she made it up because she was ashamed that she'd cheated on Nathan. That was it, wasn't it? Look, why are you and trying to... And then you lied to protect her, didn't you? Anything that she had said happened, happened, and it was horrible, OK? No, no, it didn't. Trust me on this. I know that for a fact. I know that at least one of the men that she accused couldn't have done that. How, how, how do you know? In here. Which one? Which which one of the men that are you talking about? My dad. <laughs> you. 
Neil is your dad. I know that she's fine because my dad is a good man. He won awards for how good he is. Look, you'll know more about this than me. He got Officer of the Year. Long service. They gave him medals. No! Look, he's a hero and he's the best dad in the whole world. And I'm sorry, but she is a lying, manipulative little... She trapped him and she ruined his career. She ruined his life. What he did to her. Oh, it's all lies, Craig. No, look, I know that I might be a bit messed up at the moment, OK? What he did to her. Sorry. He raped her. You're lying. Well, I guess it's going to have to be her then, isn't it? Look, I need the truth. And if I have to hurt her to get her to admit what she did, then I will. I thought you said choosing I'd be for Kayla. Wait, please just stop. Come on, come on. Oh, I just love this old place. It never changes. Sort of comforting. Yeah. I hear Lewis came back. Ah, uh, yeah, afraid so. Well, what happened? Uh, I can't really talk about it, actually, Claudia, because it's a police matter. Goodness me. <laughs> well, there's nothing to tell anyway. I mean, you know Lewis. Yeah, a bit like this place. He never changes. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry we haven't had a chance to catch up recently, but I've been so busy with the expansion of the business. Yes, I heard you were doing rather well. Yeah, ever since the Stylist Awards, things have really picked up for us. In fact, I'm about to open two new branches soon. Really? Mm -hmm. Funny, isn't it, that when most of my peers are winding down, I seem to be busier than ever. Mm, that's funny. I can assure you, though, I won't be winding down any time soon. I wasn't talking about you, Ord. So business is good then, eh? Yeah, 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 we're very busy. In fact, uh, one of my stylists has just left us. Not your grandson? David, no, no, no. Do you remember Maria? I do indeed. A very talented stylist, if I remember correctly. So she's gone on to bigger and better things, has mm. she? Yes, I'm at like that. Anyway, look, I have got so many appointments. Oh, no, no, I'll do this. No, I insist it's my treat. Now, I insist. As I said, I'm doing well. Yes, and I said so was I. So come on, it's my local, so I'll pay. OK, thank you. Don't mention it. Feel free to have a wonder. Oh, what's up with you, little lady? Do you want to help Andy Toy make a cup of tea? Yes, do you? Do you know, I never really get what this room's for. I mean, you live in a pub. You're hardly going to hide away back here, are you? Well, you wouldn't want to spend every waking minute in the bar, would you? Speak for yourself. Hey, maybe we could turn this into, like, a VIP zone or a chill-out area. Gem, it's not a club. We could turn it into a club? Oh, wow, someone's got big plans. I know. It's going to be ace. Where's Susie? Oh, hey, she's just helping me make a brew. She woke up a bit fussy, so... Uh... Tia, look, I know I can't have her in there when I'm working, but can you not just take her, please? What? I mean, I mean, move her. Can you not move her? Sorry, I'm still a bit jumpy. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, sorry, yeah, no, I wouldn't have. It's just like I said, she was a bit fussy, so... Yeah, sorry. Of course, yeah. Um, look, why don't you have a break and I'll take over. Awkward. Hey, maybe we should have a look outside. Two words for you. Champagne hot tub. That's three words. Champagne jacuzzi. Dad, I've uh, been looking at short-term rentals in Liverpool. That one's right near the hospital. It's the cheapest I've found. Cheap's not the right word, is it? Yeah, well, I can help out. Really? That much? Oh, hey. Sorry to interrupt. How's Ty doing? He said he was fine, but I'm not sure I believe him. Sorry, not with him. He's told you about his mum. Oh, I'll take that as a no. <gasps> Claudia! Hello, Mary. 
Oh, it's been a long time since we've seen you in this neck of the woods. It has indeed. It must be about five years. Oh. Have I missed much? Tracy gives me an hour for lunch, so I will give you the edited highlights. <laughs> Usual, please, Toya, and whatever Miss Colby's been drinking. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Hey, look, don't apologise after what happened. I'm just stressed. I mean, I should be providing stability for this one, and... Well, I'm supposed to do that when I don't know where I'm living. Hey, look, don't worry, me and Leah are gonna sort it. In fact, she just called me before about looking at some flats later. And we all just want the best for this one. So we'll, we'll work it out together, OK? Say something. Well, it's fine. Never really saw her as a mum anyway. No, but you still gotta go to the funeral. No, I'm telling you, Ty, you've gotta go. Look, I can spare you for the day. Oh, well, you've gotta be there for Jack. Yeah, well, I can get someone else in to help Abba. Listen, mate, I'm not messing about. You're going. Oh, you all right, mate? Do you feel as bad as I do? I would have thought so. Oh, I tell you what, I am still hanging. I've had to send Mary on a long lunch break just to stop her talking at me. Who's at the shop? Well, I shut it. Hey, how about we go to the Rovers and sink some Bloody Marys? That'll sort us right out. Mm, I can't. I'm lunching for another hour. No, oh, you'll be all right. I mean, it's only no, Kevin, I mean, I'm sure you can... Really, I've got work to do. Oh, don't tell me you're one of those people that's only fun when they've had a drink. Yeah, that's right. You should see me when I'm on smack. I'm a Ryla. Do you know what? Forget it. Sorry I asked. David has definitely ordered a deluxe hot chocolate in the past, but who its intended recipient is, I've no idea. Oh, fucking heck. Right. Oh, Maria, thank God. Just when I got my head round coffee, she goes and orders a flipping hot chocolate. Does Audrey hold the cream and marshmallows, or does she go full deluxe? Oh, no, always cream and marshmallows. You know what Audrey's like? She's got the taste buds of a six-year-old. <laughs> You're an actual lifesaver, literally. <laughs> uh, figuratively. No, literally. Uh, no, figuratively. She is not actually saving your life by getting Audrey the correct hot chocolate. You are being hyperbolic, figurative, for comic effect. Yeah, but if I had yeah. a... Seriously, don't bother, you're not going to win. Right. <clears throat> How did the wedding trial go? Oh, it didn't. So there were four of them in total, right? Three bridesmaids. Only they weren't bridesmaids or a bride. They all just wanted cheap hairdos for the night out. They never. Yep, and I didn't find out till near the end. And to threaten them all with big scissors to get paid anything. Flipping heck. Even then, I've earned less than I've paid out in childcare. Why don't you come back to the salon? You do know that Audrey's practically forcing me and Liam out of our home. I think she's just hurt. Yeah, well, aren't we all? She misses you. I can tell. I'm sure if you apologised. I'm not apologising to her. One deluxe hot chocolate. I hope she chokes on them marshmallows. Figuratively. Yeah. So, are you going to be driving up tomorrow, or...? Oh, Ty. That's wrong. That's stupid. I mean, I wasn't lying. You know, we've never been close, you know that. When Kev asked me to cover earlier, I was glad. I don't want to go. That's OK. I hated a fizz. I mean, like, I really hated her. But I just... I never stopped hoping that, you know, she'd just... Be a mum. <laughs> I'm sure what's going on, but he's just over there. OK, I'll sort it. Yeah. Well, I'm really sorry, mate, but it turns out that he even realised you were waiting to be seeing your girlfriend had, uh... Hey. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know what to believe, but I know she's in danger, okay? She's in danger. She's gonna get hurt. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Hey, listen, Craig, it's okay. It's okay. Because okay. Bethany, okay. she's in danger. Okay. Believe me, she's gonna kill us. Sit down. Just sit down. Just, Just breathe, okay? Just breathe. Help! Help! No, 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 no,
scream. Just don't scream, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off. I just want to talk to you, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry that I've had to do this. You don't. I just need you to tell the truth. Just about my dad, none of the others. I just need you to admit that you lied about him. It wasn't a lie. No. He did it with no. all of the others. No, you were still lying! I need you to tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. Look. I don't want to hurt you, but I will, if that's what it takes. You have to tell me the truth. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.